I'm getting ready for bed. I'm gonna make this short, okay? I'm gonna make this short. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, y'all wanna do rag tutorial? I mean, it's really nothing to it. You know you're supposed to wear it on the reverse. Do my friends. I like to do a little knot on the side because, you know, look how sexy I am. Look how sexy I am. Look how sexy I am. Damn. This baby blue do rag be having me looking dumb good. All right, so yeah, the New York show is sold out, but they want to give me the bigger room. Or we about to get another date. I'm going to keep y'all posted. But that's not what I came here to talk about. But you you might want to get your Jungle Pussy tour tickets. Because they're going like hotcakes, baby. If you haven't heard. Um, need to moisturize. Alright. So. I just want to tell y'all. Like. I have changed so much. Like. I cannot stop thinking about last this time last year like the end like the feeling i had at the end of the summer last year compared to the feeling that i have now is totally different like oh my god this the things that I like, like even like the things I like last summer, down to like the food I ate last summer, down to like the people that I communicated with this time last year. What was I thinking? Like I really was like dumb. Like I really did not know. I couldn't even tell. That's the real gag in my honest. I didn't even realize that I was just surrounded by toxicity i didn't even realize it until now that i'm out of it it's like wow and it's crazy because it's now all coming to fruition like last summer i just finished a movie last summer i did that adult swim thing i thought that was gonna be lit and it ended up being crazy like it's just like last year was like the year of suffering in silence i guess and no more of that no more of that no more of that um hold on yeah i'm so happy <laughs> growth like true growth like it is happening. It's happened. And I just want y'all to know that, like, any, it really can change. Like, your entire life can change in a year. Your entire mindset could change in a year. Even if you feel like, oh, well, no, I'm in the same place I was last year. Okay, you may be there physically, but I'm pretty sure your mind grew so yeah that's really all i wanted to say and also oh i have stuff i didn't even know i was like why they not talking to me i didn't even see i had comments my bad my bad my bad let me read 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 how was my post shady i don't post shady posts okay um Yes, yes, yes. It's not even that. Like, I literally just changed, like, my whole mind, like, just my thinking, all of that stuff changed. Um, and, of course, some people had to go. But that's normal. That's natural. That comes with the seasons. Where is my tool? Uh, Oh, I'm looking for my, my freaking, I'm going to find it. Give me one second.
Actually, maybe I can't find it. I better find it though eventually. It's another layer of moisturizer for when I'm feeling lazy. Just spray it on. Um, what I wanted to talk about next, I wanted to talk about the growth and like, I'm really gagging on the growth and I'm so inspired. And then the way time is just accelerated in general, everything is accelerated. It's like, yo, that's not rose water. All right. It's like, yo, it's happening for everyone. Not just me change. Ah! Seems like it's not, but it is. And, um, yeah, I got this shower curtain. I got it for myself. Sakari Singh, amazing artist. She made me a tour flyer for my European tour. And this website had a sale where you could do, you could make shower curtains. So I made a shower curtain for myself. Sorry, y'all. I got the merch coming. I got the merch coming for y'all, though. Um... Yeah. Is it wrong if you're mad at someone for not being vulnerable? Or can't, like, you know, I mean, everybody has the right to feel they want to feel, but I'm like, honestly, if you're not taking risks and, like, being uncomfortable, what the fuck is you doing? Like, I always was like, oh, yeah, it's like life. I, I just can't wait to just get to this point. Everything's going to be great. It's going to be super comfortable. Yeah, everything's going to be great. But I realized that is um, very unrealistic. So now I'm getting comfortable in my discomfort. I prefer that. I prefer to just like. All right, so just know that things are going to come my way. Things are going to pop up. And, um, and, um, <laughs> life is made to be lived, LOL. I mean, yeah. But I just want everybody to take risks like me. Like, don't you think I take a risk every day? Every day when you wake up and you say, I want to be myself, I want to just. Do what I feel, dress how I feel, look how I want, blah, 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 blah. I mean, I know it doesn't seem like a risk, but in a world that wants you to follow everything that everybody else is doing, I think that is super risky. But it's worth it. It's like the most worthy risk ever. Y'all, what are we gonna do? Do I go? Do I just leave them? Like, I'm just tired of people making me feel. I'm not victimizing. No victimizing. No victimizing. But people really be like, I am really Chun Li. Like, I am really the bad guy. Like, whoa. And all I ever want, if anybody ever says anything bad about, all they could ever say is that I've, I've just wanted the best for them. And they obviously didn't want it for themselves. Maybe, you know what? I don't know what the best for you is. So the nerve of me to think I know. But what I do know is that you just have to step out your comfort zone. Everything I've ever did, I've never done before. Like, everything I've ever did, I've never done before. Every day. The movie. My music. Music videos. Like, I've just... I've never done it before and I didn't know how to do it. I didn't know what I was doing, but I didn't back away from it. I just said, hey, like if this opportunity is here, if this calling is here, obviously I am equipped to get it done. Like the universe would not give me opportunities that I will fail at. It's just giving you opportunities that might be out of your comfort zone and you have to stretch and pull and get a little uncomfortable and just do it. Mm, no. That's why I kept this name. That's why I kept it because I'm like, why, why change it? It didn't do nothing to me. Why? Why should I change it? And I wanted to see, like, what would happen. 
And in the very, like, this name is so cool to me. It's not just what the name, it's not just the name. It's like how people really, it just really gets people going. Like, it's just like, oh, it's scared. Oh, oh. It's so cute. I'm like, Jungle Pussy is literally like my lifelong experiment. Like my lifelong just research on people's reaction to a black woman who's just like honest about her growth and honest about who she is. We're still learning who's just a black woman, just a free, just like a black woman with literally just limitless, like rapping, singing, acting, modeling, whatever she wants to do, she's doing it. And I'm really just like, I didn't plan this, y'all. I didn't plan this, but it's happening. <laughs> Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Because if it wasn't for y'all, I literally would have been stopped. But it's just because y'all started liking shit. Y'all started liking shit. So I'm like, damn, responsibility responsibilities but you know what I think I was having before I was having a hard time accepting it but now I am like before like even in cabs the stupid uber drivers even though they're supposed to shut the fuck up they would be like oh so what do you do I just say like I'm a student a student for life a student of life but I would say Ugh, I'm a student or other ones, I'd be like, oh, I'm an artist. I'll just always be vague about it. I never said, I am Jungle Pussy. Play my shit right now on your fucking vehicle. Or I'm gonna turn this shit off. <laughs> like, I've always just been like, uh, uh. Like, even out, if somebody like, oh, what do you do, blah, blah. I'd just be like, uh, nothing. I'm just an artist. <laughs> and my mom would get so mad at me. She's like, Shayna, you're not owning. You're not owning it. You're like, why are you treating it like that? Treating it like you have something to hide. And at first I didn't realize. I was like, what? Like, you know, I'm just shy. <laughs> Which I am. Y'all know I'm an introverted extrovert. But um, I didn't understand her. I'm like, so what? Because my mom is a Sag. So she's like personable. She likes to talk to people. Me, I'm like, a uh, small talk, I can't. Communication with the earthlings is difficult. Ugh, I just try to avoid it. But I didn't realize that it's my responsibility to own it and accept it and to share it and spread my word and to just be. And don't be like, uh, like, I'm not going to tell them. They're going to be like, uh, uh. Just be JP. Just let it all out. So that's what I've been doing. And it just feels like so much better. It's like I had my career in the closet. That's so bad. That's so sad. I'm so sorry, Jungle Pussy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I need to lotion. I'm sorry, Jungle Pussy. <laughs> I don't know. It's really because I, growing up in New York, y'all don't understand. Like, I literally am born and raised in New York City. Like, I didn't just move here. Like, all my life, I've been here. So imagine me. Me. And when I was younger, I used to, like, my style was just so... Like, I was just so out there. And before I started doing music, living in New York, people used to, ugh, it was like harassment. Like, or just not even a basic level of, like, just harassment, the way people harass women on the street. It would dead ass be just, like, ugh, harassment for, like, how I'm dressing. Like, oh, I'm too this, I'm too that. Yeah, I was just too creative. So from then, like, people would just always stare at me crazy on the train. Like, I just always had this, like, ugh. Not that I was scared to go out, but it was just, like, I knew what attention felt like. What, like, I knew what it felt like to be, like, 
don't know, I kind of feel like, you know, I've been popping before this. So when this came, I didn't know how to treat it. I was kind of like, uh, like, please stop. Like, uh, New York City, like, no, too much, too cool. I just want to be in peace in the corner. No, Shayna. That's not what you're here for, bitch. Especially when you want to get shower curtains like this. You think you should just hide? No. <sighs> Accepting. Accepting all that I am. Accepting my calling. Accepting my calling is hard, y'all. And then I found out about um, imposter syndrome. Just found out about that shit like three months ago. Somebody said it in a conversation, just regular, like like we knew, knew about this. And I'm like, we need to tell everybody about this. Like everybody needs to know about imposter syndrome. I don't want to explain it for you guys. I want you guys to research it yourself. That should change my life. But it's so crazy, the power of like, just how you think. During that research in imposter syndrome, I came um, across this study that they did. Um, mathematicians, women mathematicians versus male mathematicians. And they gave them the test first, just sent them in, take the test. Didn't say anything. And the men did better. The second time around, they said, um, you know, they say women, you know, do better at this test. And that was it or something like that. They just said like one little statement before the person, before they took the test. And then the women all passed the test. All for one sentence, those men felt like so incompetent. It was the truth. Because we are smarter. But once they had that one sentence, they just crumbled. I'm like, words, they just really have that power. <sighs> I have you guys in my, in my medicine cabinet. <coughs> but yeah, y'all, I just wanted to share that with you. Be mindful of your words and the way you speak about yourself because it truly has the power to bring life or bring darkness. Feel me, feel me, feel me. The merch is coming, the merch is coming, the merch is coming, the merch is coming, the merch is coming. Love you guys so much. All right now I'm really leaving. Bye.